Hello commanders and welcome in part 17 of the Chilean Empire series. We are at the final stages of our series. We are at the final stages of our game as things are pretty much advancing here. We are in day 55 and it's about time to settle this war once and for all. It's about time to see who is going to be the winner in the final battle between Chilean Empire and the European Coalition. Keep watching till the end to see the suspense, the excitement and the modern warfare here. In the last uh, episode we saw that Germany has launched his counter-offensive on the Chilean Empire lands. With his navies he started bombarding our annexed coastal cities and also he started his land invasion from Patagonia and also he started a land invasion with infantry from the city of Georgetown in the uh, eastern side of Latin America. Meanwhile here I'm spamming uh, cruise missiles, the conventional warheads, I'm gonna need them a lot. At the same time I need as much cruisers as possible here. We see that the German infantry, they are disembarking in uh, Georgetown. His uh, cruisers, they launched a nuclear cruise missile on my city of Tumuku and he kept bombarding it. He have max level motorized infantry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my strike fighters on him. Okay, uh, with the time lapse here and things have changed and I can't believe this. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare and I lost my capital Santiago. Oh god. Oh god. He kept bombarding my city overnight until it turned rogue. I did not open the game yesterday because uh, I, I, had, I had a weekend with the family. I had a vacation, I could not really open the game 24 hours per 24 hours and they literally used my absence time to annihilate my capital there. They get to my homeland city, they kept bombarding it overnight and it turned rogue. No problem guys, as I always say and as I always promise you, we will keep fighting till the end and now officially all of Europe has declared war on the Chilean Empire. France has joined the party, Finland has joined the party, now Chile versus Germany, France, Finland, United Kingdom and Ukraine. Yes, we are standing like a mountain against them and we are going to keep fighting to the end. We still have the keys to turn over the tides, we still have the units, we still have the conventional warheads, we still have the cruise missiles and we can, we can at least secure our coastal uh, the homeland cities, we can push off these Finnish, uh, these Finnish navies, they are bombarding our city of La Sirena and uh, also that naval radar, I don't know it belongs to who, but uh, I guess it it, it belongs to Germany because now it's only um, Germany who have service vessels. Here Finland is attacking uh, my city with uh, submarines. Well, you cannot attack city with submarines, it have no damage there. Yet we know now that uh, Finland, uh, that uh, Ukraine have attacked submarines. Okay, first of all I need to kill this Finnish stack that is uh, bombarding my city of La Sirena. I'm going to use the combo of uh, NPA and cruise missiles on it. At the same time, I need to find out what is that naval radar behind the Finnish, uh, behind that uh, Finnish uh, stack. I'm uh, launching uh, an annoying attack on uh, South Africa that belongs to Germany with uh, multiple national guards from all the sides. It's just uh, a tool to uh, keep Germany busy. I know that he is going to send his air force to uh, intercept those national guards. At least. I will keep his uh, air force busy there in South Africa before he send them to uh, South America because he have lands there in Patagonia and 100% he is going to build an airfield there. So uh, we need to postpone um, all of their attacks on our land. My naval radar, uh, my naval base in Antagofesta have been Antag An Antofagasta. Antofagasta have been destroyed. I'm going to rebuild it and repair it. Also in the city of La Serena I have been bombarded heavily with uh, the Finnish navy there. I'm going to remobilize my uh, naval patrol aircrafts in a closer airfield there near the city of, of Antofagasta. 
I send the level 4 cruise missile there on the on the finish stack. I will see if he have frigates because I have no idea and no intel about the Finland. I did not meet him in this game before this battle, so I don't really know what kind of navies he have there. Maybe frigates, maybe I don't know, but uh, launching one cruise missile would give me the identity of that task force if he have uh, frigates, cruisers or destroyers. From the damage I can judge and they can know. Also at the same time I'm going to send uh, cruise missiles on this moving naval radar to the north. Okay, the cruise missile have landed. It wasn't intercepted, so no frigates. Good. Very good. I will build the uh, National Guards there to uh, retrieve my city of Santiago. It's, a, it's an electronic city and I lost it. Germany did not stop launching uh, nuclear and chemical warheads on my cities there. After I killed his uh, infantry with my strike fighters, he launched a cruise missile, a chemical cruise missile on the city of Georgetown. I will get back these, uh, these national guards now because I have no naval defenses around uh, Cuba. France can come easily and uh, kill them there with these navies. I'm gonna send my AWACS to patrol my coasts. It's going to take a while for my uh, cruiser to reach the target, yet the naval radar is still moving to the north, you can see there. It's not uh, stopping there. Maybe it's going to move for my next homeland city to bombard it. The German uh, land armies there are still advancing from the south. He took uh, uh, Puntas Arenas and he is moving to Puerto Mont. I'm gonna need uh, an airfield nearby, this is why I'm building an airfield so uh, when my strike fighters they are in position uh, it's not going to take it's not going to take a lot of time to kill those German forces because you know that these German forces are composed of anti-tanks and motorized infantry, all max level. Okay, our cruise missile have been landed so 100% uh, it's German cruisers there. I can send more cruise missiles on him, on both. I have enough uh, warheads for now. Let's see what will happen after this uh, conventional assault on the German navies. So yes, the cruise missile have landed on the German stack. 100% he does not have frigates there, only cruisers. That's good, that's good. We can manage to kill them. Because we have level 4 cruise missiles, they have decent uh, hit points. The, the, the hit points of my cruise missiles, they uh, overcome the anti-air abilities of uh, the cruisers. Let's launch more cruise missiles. Let's launch more. Okay. Our, our stack of cruisers have landed. The attack, let's go back. In a hit and run. Come on, move, move, please move. Why it's not moving? Ah, the fire control is on aggressive on my cruiser. This is why it didn't move when I gave it the order to uh, get back. The aggressive mode uh, is going to uh, keep it attacking the target until the target is vanished, until the target is destroyed. Even if the target moves, my stack is going, my ship is going to follow it and keep attacking it until it dies. This is why I'm going to uh, change it to the normal mode and go back. Oh, look at those air radars, the green dots. Germany is sending cruise missiles on our cruiser. Look at that, look how many he is sending. This is outrageous, look at this cruise missiles warfare here. This battle is nice, it's good, it's amazing. The suspense, the excitement, it's just incredible in this Chilean Empire series. As much as this series is very hard, as much as I'm, I am enjoying it, I literally enjoying it. Okay, we will see what will happen in the next episode, guys. I'm sorry, I need to stop here because we are at the end of today's episode. Meet you in episode 18. See you guys and bye bye.